Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and today we're looking at the theme of the hand of God. Yes, that's right, the hand of God. And we're doing the one year Bible reading plan, August the 8th, and it's Ezra chapter 7 we're in today. And uh, this is a story of Ezra, a scribe who's been in the Babylonian exile, uh, and under this new king, Artaxerxes of Persia, he's able to uh, come back with a whole gang of people back to Jerusalem. Um, and uh, and these guys, all these people involved, must have seen the hand of God at work in this in these situations. It's amazing that there's been this change of heart under Cyrus and how um, the first uh, Jewish exiles were able to come back and rebuild the temple. We've read about that already. And now Ezra's able to come back and strengthen the people and teach them the law uh, of the Lord. Uh, and in a little while we, we hear about the story of Nehemiah who comes back to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Uh, and all of these guys must have seen this incredible change of heart amongst these uh, these pagan rulers who, who have... Uh, have mercy on the people of, of Judea and, and think it prudent to allow them to come back and rebuild the temple in their lives. You know, it's, a, it's inconceivable it would seem. And yet here it is, God at work, the hand of God um, at work behind the scenes to bless, to heal, to restore, to sh steer, um, to soften hearts, to uh, sometimes rebuke, um, but to intervene in human history and to achieve his purposes. It's a wonderful thing to be aligned with God's purposes and to experience the hand of God. Um, seemingly impossible things suddenly change and shift when the hand of God is at work in a situation and, and these guys see that and um, three times that phrase is used in our passage verse 6 verse 9 and verse 28 the first um, Ezra is um, granted a request by the king and he sees the hand of God in that and um, the second he's given a good a safe and a secure journey home through the hazardous terrain and um, back to Jerusalem he sees the good hand of God uh, his blessing in that and verse 28 again he, he, he talks about being strengthened and encouraged by the hand of the Lord in his situation and um, it's a great thing to have the hand of the Lord in our in our lives isn't it we just seek that where's the hand of the Lord at work in your life today um, how can you align yourself to the favor and blessing of God um, Ezra is described as receiving this blessing verse 10 because he had determined to study and obey the law of the Lord and to teach those decrees and regulations to the people of Israel. How can we also study, obey and teach um, uh, the scriptures, the law of the Lord, uh, in such a way that we might align ourselves better with um, the will of God and so receive the favour of God uh, and his hand of blessing upon us. By ourselves we can do nothing, John 5 tells us, but we can do all things through him who gives us strength. So let's seek the hand of the Lord in our situation today and this week. God bless you as you do.